Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. We're standing here in the Deku Palace. Let's head on forward and into the Royal Chamber. Yep, so uh, we got some fire going on in the middle, and the monkey is up there in a cage, as you can see, sort of tied to that pole. Uh, there's the Deku King doing some sort of uh, crazy weird dance. Looks like a butler to the side and a bunch of little servants, so... Um, first things first, I'm actually going to equip our pictograph box that we got. We didn't use it on the boat cruise because there's really nothing interesting to take a picture of. So what we actually want to do is come over here and uh, take a picture of the Deku King. Oh, I'm going to wait till he's looking at me. I don't think it matters, but... There we go. I just want to take a good picture. <laughs> there we go. That's perfect. All right, let's keep it. So we're going to use that for something later. Let's also talk to this guy here. Oh, well, how do you do, sir? Now that our beloved princess is missing, the king has been unable to keep his cool. I fear the princess may be caught up in some kind of trouble, just as that monkey claims. But in his current state, the king can't even send troops out to look for her. What are we to do? Don't worry, I'll solve all your problems, just like I always do. Alright, so let's talk to the king, see what's up. I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku princess. He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in that cage. Take a good look at his face. Alright, man. You don't, you don't have to sit there and do that. That's really creepy. Alright, I'm getting out of here. So, anyway, let's go uh, check out the monkey. He's uh, tied up up here, so let's speak to him. They keep saying that I kidnapped her, no matter how many times they see it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please, believe my words. Yeah, that monkey is a lot more intelligent than his uh, younger brothers, I guess. I mean, I would assume he's older because he's smarter and he actually speaks well. But there you go. So that's pretty much the way things are. Apparently this monkey um, was out with the princess, whether he kidnapped her or not, I don't know. But uh, apparently she's uh, stuck in the temple and could fall victim to monsters, so that's obviously not good. Whoa, holy crap, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, what is it with this game and people not letting you through? Man, jeez. Alright, what's up? Was my brother alright? Did you see entrance to cage? We know secret route there. Enter secret route from outer garden entrance. But entrance in top place, no can reach it. Need bean for bean cellar, live beneath palace garden. Hmm, understand my meaning? Uh, yeah, I got you. Oh, you smart. Plant bean in soft place by outer garden. You figure out rest. Hurry, help brother. Well, alright, sounds pretty good. So apparently we've got to get a magic bean and uh, plant it in order to get around sort of the back entrance to the cage. Okay, so first we're going to head over to uh, the east side here. We're going to have to do a little bit of sneaking around, so uh, just make sure you don't get caught by these Deku running around. Even if you're a Deku scrub, they'll throw you out because you're not supposed to be here, so you can't really use that excuse to get through. So uh, we can pretty much just wait on this guy. This really isn't that difficult. Um, it, I mean, it, it really is about the same as sneaking into Hyrule Castle. You know, that was pretty easy as well, so... All right, so let's just wait for him to sort of get around this big rock that's randomly placed here. There we go. And, oh, no, oh, keep going, man. And before you go too far down, it's a good idea to make sure that that guy, you can see at the very bottom of the screen, has moved on. Uh, otherwise, it's very easy to get caught completely by surprise by him. All right, come on, dude, I need you to go up there. All right, that'll work. Phew, all right. There's also some rupees here for if you want them, which you should probably get because they're free and easy. All right, second section. We've got uh, another big random rock placed here. Uh, oh, it's night of the first day. Awesome. This also makes sneaking a little bit easier because you can actually see their field of vision now. Basically, as long as you're not in those little lines coming out, they won't see you. So that's pretty good. I still pretty much like to play it safe anyway. So. Because I'm not sure if it's limited, like, straight to those lines, or if they can still kind of see, you know, out of peripheral vision. I'm really not sure, but... Alright, dude, go. Going around you. There we are. So we want to get in that hole at the end there. And this will drop us down to this place. Let's head to the left. And as you can see, the magic bean seller back from Zora's River is sitting here on his little carpet. Well, you're the first customer I've had in a long time. Do you need any magic beans? They sprout leaves as soon as you water them. That they do, they do. Hmm, I'll give you one free sample, so try planting it on some soft soil. You can always buy more. See, this is why I told you not to buy beans from the other guy. You can get them for free here. Um, you can plant them whenever you want, but if you don't water them, their leaves won't grow. Yeah, so that also kind of gives you a little hint, and if you didn't pick up spring water before, like I said, 
you can get some now. Also, don't, don't, do not waste your magic bean in this patch here. You don't need it for anything. So let's uh, pick up a little bit of refills here and head back up. Alright, so now that we've got that, oh, I'm going to grab these four rupees around the tree. And this time I'm going to get caught. Let's see how good their vision is. I'm just kind of curious if I could... Oh wow, you could actually get pretty close to him. That's kind of cool. But anyway, there you go. He'll throw you out. And uh, this is pretty much the quick way to do it here. Uh, now we're going to head over to the outside, actually, and take a way around to the east. Now, if you want, you could actually go back and uh, take the west path instead of the east one like we did before. Uh, that'll eventually lead you to a heart piece, I believe. But you can also get it by going this way, and I like to do it this way because you don't have to do any sneaking. So that's just kind of the way I prefer to do things. So you can see here we've got a magic bean spot, so let's go ahead and get those out. We're also going to need our bottle of spring water. And uh, let's go ahead and plan it. And it works just the same way it did in Ocarina of Time, except this time we don't have seven years to wait for this thing to sprout, so we're going to use our spring water. And when we do so, it immediately turns into a leaf. So, hey, that works. Alright, so we can ride it up. We're also going to need to be a Deku scrub throughout most of this, so let's go ahead and put that back on. And now we can start going along this upper path here, which is kind of neat, so that's good. Um, let's chop on down and get into the flower. Along the way, we're going to have to do a lot of shooting from flower to flower. Um, this is where, if you've had practice at the uh, little Deku scrub game, that it would probably come in handy. Uh, but along the way, we're going to have to take care of these uh, scrubs. So as long as you just aim at them and shoot, you don't have to worry about leading them or anything. Um, it'll still hit them. So that's pretty much how you take care of that. And then, uh, from here on out, it's really just shooting from flower to flower. This is actually quite self-explanatory for the most part. All right, and here... Oh yeah, sometimes that'll happen too. As long as you're moving on the platform like that, then he usually can't hit you with the shots, so you don't have to worry too much. Okay, so let's just keep on flying across, and if you need magic refills, you can find them in these pots right here. As you can see, so that's good. Nice that they put that there. If you don't want to shoot bubbles, you can uh, fly across and uh, drop a Deku Nut on them from above. We're going to actually have to do that later, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. And it puts you in a little bit more danger, actually, because you have to go pretty much straight in their path of fire. So, Alright, so let's just keep on going here. Oh, sorry, we got another Deku Scrub up ahead. Oh, Boom, got him, awesome. <laughs> I love looking at that shot, that's so cool as you're kind of floating to the left to see it still eventually hit him. Alright, then once we get to this tower right here, you can see there's a heart piece down there, and I think this is the result of sneaking around through the uh, west side, but as you can see, there's a few rooms you need to go through, and that's just kind of a pain, so even though it takes a little bit longer, I like to do it this Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, so basically you gotta drop down and get the heart piece, and then we'd have to go all the way back through. Um, of course, now I'm going to have to do it another two times, so I'm not going to make you watch that. I'll pretty much just uh, meet you when we grab the heart piece, and then meet you again once we get back there for a second time. So, hey, this sounds like fun, doesn't it? Okay, so this time let's make sure the coast is clear. This looks like we got time to go. Awesome, there we go. So we grab the heart piece. And, uh, let's see, that's our first one, I believe, so. Um, now let's go ahead and get caught and get thrown back out. Um, there's really no way back up, so we're gonna have to do this one more time. The only good news is the music is pretty cool, so um, I guess that makes it a little bit better. But I'll meet you once we get back there once again. Okay, so we're back on this tower for a third time. You can see the heart piece has been replaced by just a heart, and that's kind of cool. But um, we're actually almost at the end. This is really the last section, pretty much. That door up there is where we need to go, so it's really up to you whether or not you want to uh, sneak or if you just want to take kind of the longer way like I did. Like I said, I just kind of prefer it this way because you don't have to worry about getting caught that way, even though I still did, which is the funny part, but <laughs> there you go. Okay, so once we get up here, let's just wait for this thing to finish. It's a long ride. That platform moves agonizingly slow. Uh, then we can go up here. And as you can see, we've made it back to the King's Chamber, and this time we're in the cage with the monkey. So um, let's go ahead and turn back into a human real quick and uh, go ahead and talk to him again. Oh, drop down. There you go. Speak. Oh, you. How did you get here? Shh. If they see you, they'll capture you. What? My brother's asked for your help. Ugh, I'm terribly sorry. Just try to cut my rope. We'll talk after that. Okay. 
So let's climb up on this thing. Get our sword out, which really loudly, by the way. And cut it. Nope. Oh, okay, I guess that didn't work. Alright, let's try it again. No. Okay, I know there's a way you can actually do this where it'll say something. Okay, well, never mind. We'll, we'll just pretty much skip it and uh, do it the way we're supposed to do it. If you manage to actually, like, hit the ropes, it'll say, Oh, well, that's no good, huh? And then ask if you have a loud instrument. So we can go ahead and pull this out. We really can't. We have to actually... Oh, my gosh. All right. Okay, so, well, I guess that's what I get for trying to speed things up too much. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get this to work this time. Hmm, no good after all. Yep, see, there it is. Wait, you don't happen to have something that can make a lot of noise, like a loud instrument with sound that carries a long way? If you have one, show it to me. Well, we've got the pipes, so let's try it. There we go. Oh, you have them, you do, just like the Princess Deku pipes. Those will work great. By the way, who are you? Dolt. <laughs> I love that, Link literally, like, goes face first into the floor. Whoa, that's not important now, just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? Uh, I sure do, actually. Yep. <laughs> I love that. So then, that means you will go on my place and save the princess. Yep. Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly. And we have learned the Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows, it proves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence. Uh-oh. Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> You'd better take the shortcut the Deku people use to get to Woodfall Temple, but you must hurry. If you don't, I'll be punished by the Deku king. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, <laughs> so we get kicked back out again, but this time we're armed with some new knowledge. Apparently the monkey and the princess went to Woodfall Temple, which we can get to up there, by the way. And uh, the princess got stuck inside, and now apparently the king thinks the monkey kidnapped her, which I guess would be a reasonable assumption. I mean, it's like, who are you going to believe sort of thing, but uh, let's talk to the uh, guards again. But, uh, it, he'll pretty much just let us through. It doesn't even matter that we just got kicked out for, you know, talking with the monkey. But, um, as we head back in, I think we should be able to see, yeah, the monkey is now being suspended over this, like, boiling pot of water, and, oh, man, that is not good. Holy crap. Punishment! Punishment! Oh, what about you? Punishment! Punishment! Hmm, wow, that doesn't look good. Wait, can we talk to him from here? Tattle's, like, going over to him. I really want to see if we can. Check. Ow, hot, hot, stop it, please! They keep saying that I kidnapped her, no matter how many times they say it, it's not gonna bring the princess back. Oh, man, that, that's, that sucks, dude. <laughs> that would be horrible. Uh-oh. Uh, did they kill him? Are we too late? Okay, no, he's fine, that's good. Oh, no, we gotta watch this again. Okay, I'll, I'll stop it, I promise. We won't make the monkey suffer anymore. Okay, so, anyway, uh, before we make him suffer anymore, let's head back out. Man, that, that would that would be horrible. But... Okay, so let's get back out of here, and uh, now we have our next objective. We need to head to Woodfall Temple, of course, that's the first one in the game, and that will um, let us save the princess and uh, 
pretty much complete the first of the four areas we need to go to, so that's definitely pretty cool. But I am uh, actually going to... Oh man, this kind of sucks. I'm really not in a good place to save. Um, I'll, I'll probably end up just having to go back to the uh, southern swamp area and save at that owl statue there. But um, I'm going to end the video right here, and this is where we will uh, start up on Monday. We're going to head over to the right and up this flower through that way and uh, go to Woodfall Temple. So that's pretty cool. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.